You're standing with a no war sign as if indulging the inevitable. This war can't be stopped. Like bright arterial blood from an open wound, it flows till it kills. It enters our cities with the armed man, seeps into our courtyards with the reconnaissance units, like deadly mercury beads that can't be put back. You can't fix it, except to find and neutralize it. These civilian managers, clerks, IT guys, and students, life didn't prepare them for street fights, but the war did. On the front line, in a painfully familiar landscape, in a hurry. At first, they only recruit experienced combat fighters to the defense units. After that, gamers who play Dune and Fallout. Or maybe if you've had a short course in Molotov cocktails from a bartender you know at the local club. Well, the kids are asleep. The kids are crying. The kids are being born into a world temporarily unfit for life. Out on the playground, they're assembling Czech hedgehogs and nuclear families are mixing deadly drinks. Whole families finally enjoying conversation and a collective project. War shortens the distance from person to person, from birth to death, from what we never wished for to what it turned out we were capable of. Mom, pick up the phone. A woman's been pleading for two hours in the apartment building basement. Stubborn and dense, she won't stop believing in a miracle. But her mother is out of cell phone range. In the suburbs, where the prefab collapsed like cheap Legos from the massive strikes, where just yesterday broadcast towers stopped connecting people, where the world could blown up into pre- and post-war. Along the uneven fold of the nowhere sign, which you'll toss in the nearest trash on your way home from the protest, Russian poet. War kills with the hands of the indifferent and even the hands of eyeless sympathizers. <laughs>